love to, right, Ken? Not sure. Hi, right. Ken. And your name is? Bonita. Bonita, like the fish? Mm-hmm, like yeah. the fish. Were you named after the fish? or No. no it's, a, it's a different... It means beautiful in Spanish. Does it really? Mm -hmm. I did not know that. Is the, the Bonita, in fact, a beautiful fish? Um, yeah, I guess so. As fish goes. Yes. I guess other fish would think so. Yes. You work here at the Visitor Center? I do. What do you do? What's your function? Um, well, here at Visitor Services, um, what we like to do is try to provide a quality experience for visitors and islanders. Here we uh, clean the beaches. Uh, you clean the beaches? No, the we hire we hire somebody to clean the beaches. Really? Mm-hmm. Who, who who cleans the beaches? Frank is Powers it? does. Frankie, yeah. And He's got that big beach cleaning machine. Yes. Huh? It's pretty cool. Yes, it is. And Kate Hamilton's the director here at Visitor Services. She's swell, isn't she? She's a great person. Kate? I like Kate. Yep. Is she a good boss? She certainly is. You know, nobody's going to see this. You can say what you really think. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. She's a great boss. She is? Yeah. We have a lot of fun here. How did you come to be working here at Visitor Services? Visitor Services, uh, three years ago. Well, actually, this is my third anniversary, October 28th. Congratulations. Um, but I moved back to Nantucket from? after school uh -huh. uh, from Illinois and got a job as an information aide, is what Ken does here. Right. And, and Michael Galvin, he's an Michael Galvin, aide too, right? Yes, mm -hmm. Louise Conway, um, and we have several other employees during the summer. We go right. up to about 12 people. Wow. And then down to probably four or five in the winter time. And you answer people's questions. We answer people's that. questions. We help them find uh, lodging if they come down here and they decide right. they want to stay last minute. Wow. Mm -hmm. I actually know that because I work at a guest house. <laughs> Benita. Yes. People ask you some pretty stupid questions, no. don't they? No, no I mean, question is no, stupid. Really, really. Don't they ask you some dumb questions? No, they don't. They never do. No, we nobody don't get, there are like, no stupid the questions. And, uh, no, you know, no stupid nobody coming that. in here does. I mean, no. I've heard people joke about that kind of stuff, but no. No, they, they don't seriously ask about it? No, we get more of the people who are kind of, they're really interested no. in uh, what's going on here right. as far as island activities, events. Mm -hmm. um, nobody asking about the bridge. Wow. They want to have more information about planning their trip next year. Right. Or all kinds of stuff. Do you like your job? I love my job. Do you really? Definitely. What do you do when you're not working here? Um, I actually have another job like everybody else on yeah. Nantucket. And um, I work at the Islander on Pulpus Road. Oh, yeah, the Islander mm -hmm. package store. Yep. And you work with Paula. Yes, Paula yeah. Driscoll. And she's swell, too. She certainly you like is. both your bosses. Yeah, I'm very lucky. You are lucky. <laughs> and what about when you're not working, though? You, you must do something besides work. Not working? Well, actually, I work every day and almost every night. I do laundry on my uh, day off. Yeah. <laughs> I can be found at the laundromat. Why, um, do you, why do you like living here in Nantucket when you have to work two jobs and it's really expensive and all that stuff? It's beautiful here. You think? Definitely. What's beautiful about it? Everything. The people, the, the weather. What's beautiful about the people? Um, it's really just, it's, I think it's just a really honest kind of cool place to be. What, how do you mean honest? I think it is. I think the people who live near the water, I've lived in Arizona and Illinois, and found that people who live near the water just really have a nice spirit about them. Really? Yeah. Tell me more about that. What, what's nice about their spirit? What's different about it? Um, I think it's kind of a more laid back kind of, it's a, you know, we can't really help it if it's going to happen according to the weather and such. Right. So. And you like that? I do like Why? that. Why? Because you're not as dependent on um, kind of things that, you know, are going to happen out there in mm -hmm. so-called the real world. Right. Just kind of take them as they come? Absolutely. That, well, great. Thanks for talking to us. Ken. Yes, sir. What about yourself? I How? moved here from Washington three years ago. Washington, D.C.? The murder capital of the world. It's a <laughs> cesspool of depravity down there, isn't it? It's nice Washington, to be able to walk out your front door and not duck a bullet. Yeah? We, can, we do that here in Nantucket. <laughs> what did you want to move here for? Or what did you want to leave there for, too? Oh, I lived there 57 years. I've been coming up here for 29 years. Uh -huh. And the quality of life here is fabulous. And I retired recently, and it's a great place to retire to. Washington is a company town, isn't it? Yeah. Pretty much? Did Politic, you work for the government political. down there? I wouldn't work for the government, I would bet. You did not work for the, you were in D.C. and did not work for the government? Private industry. Private industry. What did you do down there? The printing business. Really? What's your print? Smithsonian Magazine, National Geographic, uh, Architectural Digest, uh, Connoisseur Magazine. Was that a good Peaks. career for you? That was my, my whole career, yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy it? Very much so. Worth yeah. doing? Yep. Good. It was, it was, the nice thing about it is not the same thing happened two days in a row. It wasn't mm -hmm. a routine type job. Right. And what about this job? 
Same thing? Oh, yeah. You meet a lot of nice people in here. Uh -huh. A lot of interesting people, a lot of nice people. There's some wacky people come in here, though, aren't there? Once in a while? Rarely. Rarely? Rarely. You know, are, are we getting the company line here from the visitor service? <laughs> I get the feeling that... Uh, Not know. at all. No, I think the no. wacky ones work here. Yeah, yeah. the wacky ones work here. We've cornered and, the market. Definitely. Do you have a family? I have four children and nine grandchildren. Right, and did any of them move here with you? No. They did not? No. Thank God. So you came here, <laughs> came here he was pretty much solo. Right. Yeah? Right. And how's that? I love it. Well, I, how, I wouldn't give it up for anything. How did you find, like, moving into the year-round community, you know, fit, fitting yourself in Well, here? coming here for 29 years, I knew a lot of people, so mm -hmm. there was no problem there at all. Right. And what do you do when you're not working here? Try and get things done around the house because I'm here five days. Uh huh. <laughs> and uh, do you do you get things done around the house? Or do, there's or does never enough time. Let's put it that way. Right. The time runs out before you get everything done. What about what Benita said about the people who live here? Laid back. I agree with her. The, the quality of life here is fabulous. The people are nice. They're sincere. They're genuine. Uh, people take pride in things here. They keep the place clean and, mm -hmm. and take pride in the community. And uh, pride. It's probably the greatest community-oriented place I think I've ever been in my life. It's, a, it's unique in, in, in being an island that way. Well, they take it? care of the elderly, they take care of the infirm, and they just they really do a good job. Uh -huh. Well, very good. It's good to have you here. We love it. Okay. Stay here. And thanks for talking to us. Thanks for stopping by. Okay. Uh, well, we wanted to find out what's the, what you're hearing about the scallop season. Uh, there's not going to be too many out there, I don't you think. You think? Yeah. yeah. Why? Uh, I don't think anybody knows exactly why. Any uh, there's too many variables, you know. What are you hearing from people? Uh, Mike Kopko took them all last yeah. year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, might, I might have opened many of them, but I did not take them. Um, no, I don't know if anybody has one, you know, one simple theory. Right. Uh, I hear many things, you know. Like? Overbuilding. Right. And, um, you know, pollution of the harbor. Uh, Fertilizer a problem, you think? Uh, well, it could be. Do you think? Uh, I don't know enough to say yes or no. Uh -huh. I know they had bad years in the past. Right. But it seems to have gotten kind of progressively worse in the last few years, hasn't it? Uh, yeah, they, a lot of the fishermen say it goes on a three-year cycle, and next year might be a good year. Yeah? I think next year is the third year of the you know, three-year cycle, so uh -huh. uh, I think that would be a good barometer. Now, we're like, uh, what's the date today? The 21st? That's right. So we're like 10, 11 days from open. Well, the season's season, really right? going to open the 3rd because it's the 3rd's so a Monday. Can't... You can't fish on Saturday on right. the 1st. Okay, so yeah. so we're opening in like two weeks, something like right. that. Uh, you got the shanty ready yet? Uh, we're getting there. Getting That's there? the next 10 days, yeah. Yeah? We don't have our permit yet, but we will by uh -huh. it's opening time. What's the price going to be, opening day? Fair, good Fair. price. Yeah? Yeah. Ballpark? Uh, 10, 11, 12? Don't like to hedge too much on what's going to happen. You what know? did we close at last year? I think we closed at 10, 10, 50, somewhere in that it wasn't it, it Wasn't it sort of 10 most of the season? 10 year? most of the season. Right. Yeah. Which yeah. means somebody who opens gets paid what? Two bucks, an hour, two two bucks, bucks a pound. pound. It's 20%, yeah. right? right? For the benefit of our viewers who have not opened scum. So if you can do 15 pounds an hour, that's... Right. Ten dollars a pound. That's thirty bucks an hour. That's, that's pretty not good. too shabby. I mean, if you can get three hours of it, you yeah. make ninety bucks. Yeah, I did. You know? I did pretty well at that. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Yeah. I'm, I'm I got to change. He's one of those. Okay. I'm rolling. So you're buying some fish for Vincent's? Yes, sir. Yeah. What are you getting today? Uh, just um, well, we're running down the season, so we're just getting our daily order. We're going day by day. Just gonna right. get some mussels and uh, clams. Uh huh. What's yeah. your name? Richard. Richard, and yes, you the chef over there? Um, well, basically right now. Yeah. yeah. Our Is it busy stuff? Yeah. Really? Yeah, for 10 for? years. Uh, he's going to open a restaurant in Pittsburgh. Really? He left after 10 years? Yeah. Who was that? I saw this guy, Dave Lovey. Yeah? Yeah. No kidding, 10 years. What are you going to do? Are you going to stay here for the winter? Um, no, I'm going to take off five months and I'll be back. Where are you going season. for five months? I have a lot of things open. I have a few different choices. Right. You going sure to cook? I basically, I think I'm going to check myself in the rehab after this <laughs> summer. <laughs> was it a uh, fun summer for you? Kind of? Uh, yeah. yeah. What it, you know, the restaurant business is like that, though, isn't it? Oh, yes. You work crazy party hours, night, you work real hard, then you party all, all night, sleep all day, right? Yeah, I remember that. Remember yeah. that, Tina? Yes, I you did. You never did that. I was in the Coast Guard. <laughs> I was a cook in the Coast Guard. Oh, yeah. Guard. I know what it was like. So you did do that. Sure. How's the fish here at Glidden's? It's the best, isn't it? It's right across the street. It's available. They're always here. No that problems whatsoever. Good. Nice size. 
You get you Ted to take care of you with the trick or treat <laughs> bag, <laughs> nonetheless. See, mom and dad, you can come here, shop, and you got your trick or treat bags there for your you kids. Go. One problem like out of the way. You got it. <laughs> How long you been in the fish business now? On and off. Yeah. Uh, See ya. Years. See you later. Twenty hey, years. Buddy. Yeah. What? How did you I get into the fish? Fifteen. Here at this store? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Did you grow up here on the island? Summers. Yeah. 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 What? Do you like the fish mill? You must. Well, you know, you do something that you know. You know. Right. I mean, uh, you get limited as you get older on what you can do because right. that's what you know, and you do what you can to make money and make a living. Is it a fun job? Yeah, it's hectic. You like going to work though? Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a fast pace, uh, you gotta be on your toes. Mm -hmm. It's a commodity, more or less, and uh, it's, but it's prices like, change every day. It's yeah. not like putting things on the shelves and watching them sit there because one day, you know, a certain product's one price, and two, three days later, it's a different price. Right. And it's. What are people eating a lot of these days? Lobsters. That's lobsters. why we have a sale. Yeah? Yeah. Big lobster yeah. sale. Cheap. I like lobsters. This is a good time for lobsters. Is it? Yeah. yeah. We'll keep that in mind. Lobsters are most prevalent for the next couple of weeks. And okay. Then, uh, what do you do when you're not working? Uh, I go golfing. Do you? Uh, yeah. Uh, Where do you go? Hang out with my daughter. Yeah? And, uh, That's always fun. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to go down to Disney World and have a little vacation. Are you really? Uh, Looking forward this to This Saturday. Yeah. This Saturday? Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Right before scallop season starts. Have you been there before? Uh, only, well, about 15 years ago. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Scallop season is really hectic for you, though, isn't it? Well, it can be, yeah. Right, I mean, it's long like, hours. You stay here yeah. till 10 o'clock at night, yeah. Right. Uh, but we do split shifts, more or less. Uh -huh. Sometimes you don't come in till 1 or 2 o'clock in the right. afternoon, and then you stay till 10. But as the season progresses, uh, you start only staying open till 9 and then right. 8, and you go from there. Right. Uh, well, I'll be, I got my knife out. I got my boots out. I'll be here Monday the 3rd. I'll be looking for that $10 pound price. And hopefully uh, there's some scallops there. There might not be. Did you just turn on? No. Oh, you did. Oh, I didn't. Oh, okay, sorry. Still on. I heard it. Am I on? Yep. All right, so we'll see you later. Thanks for talking to us. Yeah, no problem. We'll see you in the shanty. Come by.